Hi everyone, how are you doing? Okay, so here we are with one more video with updates for us. On this video, we're going to have a few words on how you can make your own videos for your family, your business, right? When you do the cleanup, take everything that's not positive, not sustainable, clean, right? Leave it ready. And we also have some words about... Um, um, how we will demolish cities in a very organized way, cities that we don't need in the center of continents because they're not sustainable, as we already said in many other videos. And then we have some updates from a newspaper, you know, and things that we're going to use or not, how we're going to get the peace points. And then we have another mini video that's combined about the peace points itself. All right? Okay, please have a look. And here it is. We really appreciate your participation. Thanks so much. And we see you soon. And we have a few words about the department directors. So, that is for everyone that wants to apply to be department directors that need to know English, need to take their testing, right? know about this work of the organization. right? They can even type with their family, friends, co-workers school principals, neighbors, that's okay, but they're going to study themselves, right? Okay, so you need to show all the documentation that you have to date with your, with your house, you know, and documents, um, school documents for your children, teens, for yourself, and for your parents. And those that will do their presentations with great points and go get all their testing done and all the documentation ready first, they are the ones that are going to be approved to be the 10 department directors for every property in all countries. Okay? All right, here it is. And please learn about the organization. We are going to launch our organization in August 2023. And hopefully on that day, we are going to start a new humanity, a new a new, new concept of living, a new concept of life, a new concept of being citizens of this planet Earth. You understand? And a new concept of families united. Instead of having millions of people living alone, elders alone, young, young teens, you know, like 18, 19, 20, they already move out because they can afford, they leave their parents. All these things are not good. Uh, college people, university people moving to other countries away from their families. This is also not good. So let's have families united. It's a married couple. Everyone 22 years old and older will be properly married. One man and one woman properly married. My friends, that is so beautiful. Have things as God made you, you know, no gays, no lesbians, no homosexual, no all these other words that, that I don't even want to talk about. And, you know, at schools, the same way, everyone 15 years old and older, they will have a boyfriend or a girlfriend that they trust. It's forbidden. One, one weekend they have one, another weekend they have another, and then for a few months they don't have anybody, and then they have two on the same weekend. This is not positive, my friends. This is not about having God practices. We need to have our teens, you know, healthy, you know, healthy, safe, with people that we know, the parents should know where their teens are, you know. So basic things, right, that's so basic for anyone in the entire planet, you know. It's important to be safe. It's important to have peace, important to have love, to be kind, to work united, okay? So, they're going to have one boyfriend, one girlfriend for the whole year. They live in the same location, the same residential community, so parents don't worry. They don't get sexual disease, they don't get AIDS, they don't get none of this problem. They don't disappear, right? They don't are in, they're not in drugs, they are not in parties or bars that you don't even know where they are. They're safe. You know who they are, who if they're with, 
they're happy with that person. You understand? So, the other thing I want to say a few words is we have 20 years of adjustments. Most basic things going to be done in two years, and then we have a few changes for four, and keep going until 20. So this work, the new construction, everyone going to live by the beach areas up to maybe a hundred or so. For now, on these two, four years, these first years, are going to be up to 200 from the beaches of all continents in the warmer areas. And after that, we're going to build these very strong buildings that are going to last, last forever, for centuries and millennials. Why is that? Instead of remodeling and remodeling and remodeling, no, we're going to build these strong things instead of spending time, you know, with all this remodeling, we're going to enjoy life. We're going to have time to spend with our family and have our beautiful festivals, seasonal festivals outside. We're going to have time to plant those beautiful gardens for food at our own residential communities, at our own schools, instead of purchasing food from other countries, from people that work all day. They don't have time to study. They don't have condition to, to fight against the, 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 the mosquito diseases. You understand? So it's going to be really beautiful, really special, and we're going to have more time to enjoy life. Okay? So in a few words, you know, if you're new to our channel, here it is. And today is May 4th, 2023. So here's one more video about organization so please share every day take those 20 minutes an hour two hours whichever is your reality and every day you share you know so you share every week every monday you share with some people tuesday wednesday you know so you have proper days okay all right and for everyone can be the same as i will tell you right now as a great idea for everyone Okay, so here it is. Every Monday, you are going to write to teachers and principals for every educational site, from preschools to universities. Everyone from zero years old, right? Infants, those daycares, until doctorate classes. All right. Every Tuesday, you're going to share with business owners of all types negative, positive, supermarkets, office, law firm, all this business of all types, okay? Independent if they're positive or negative, you can make two different emails or one, according to your reality of your country, all right? Every Wednesday, you're going to share with residential communities, all right? Okay, and every Thursday, with government leaders and their secretaries, directors, offices, all right? Okay. And every Friday, you're going to focus on what you need the most. What you still need the most. It's the state and national parks or something else. What you need the most, okay? Or what you can do the best for yourself, your state, or for some other state or some other country. All right? Great. All right, now I'm going to say how you're going to do that. You start with your own county. That's the first step at your own county and neighbor counties, areas that you know, you know, close by. You can even go to your own state. So that's the first two weeks. Focus on that first because you learn, you improve, right? And then you go to other countries. That's okay. So, after two weeks, you keep sharing until you have an answer. Yes, I closed my business. You have an answer, all right? So, you keep answer. You keep writing, I mean, the same email. You know, you have the template, 10 sentences with 10 links. And you share to these people, all right? Okay, so about two weeks, focus on your own county, every business. After that, you can go to other countries. Okay, 
All right. Or state, uh, the countries. All right. So, uh, the other thing, when you have these 10 sentences with 10 links, look around a little bit. So, we have a good start. It's from January-based um, videos. It's from January 2022. We have... Um, a set of the base of all departments, you know, we start to making them in December 2021 and January 2022. So you're going to see, they have my picture there. They're the base of every of these 10 departments of our organization, okay? And those now from April and May 2023, they also have a good... Um, overview what we are doing now improving overview improvement that's what we're doing now okay okay so let's get ready and please check our videos for the festivals we're gonna have we're gonna have one now in in uh, may and june right and um, also for mother's day in may and father's day in october so let's Practice with our children, teens, with our students, with our neighbors, and make it this beautiful. You know, those festivals, they are called seasonal festivals to honor and celebrate God, to honor and celebrate nature. It's beautiful, and nature is here for us. God made our brain imagine nature, made ourselves, you know, human body. It's amazing. It's amazing how people can say that God does not as exist. Yes, God exists and a lot. But people that are not connected to God and people that are not connected to nature, they have problems in their lives. But we that are connected to God and are connected to nature, go see, people are happy, children, teens, they're happy. They don't need drugs, they don't need addiction of any type, they play outside, they have games, learning games, they're great at schools, they're awesome at their universe, they're happy with the life they have, right? Because we are people connected to God and nature, so that's what we want for every family of this planet, for us to renew our humanity and don't have problems anymore, don't have wars for land don't have fights for religion, don't have fights or disagreement or um, have bad practice. Things are not good because of the, um, different races or, um, you know, we, we can renew, my friends. Let's renew our humanity, all right? So this is our invitation to every single person of all countries, all right? Okay, here we are, and it's a gift to have your participation. So please share from Monday to Friday, and Saturday is the day we, we plant, we clean our homes, have everything organized, do the laundry, have everything neat and beautiful for us to have our food, and Sunday is the day we have time for our families. Go to a park, go to the beach, okay? And enjoy life. Enjoy some relaxed time. We have to stop working at night. We have to stop working on Sunday. And enjoy life. Enjoy family. Enjoy spouses. Enjoy friends. Enjoy nature. That's so beautiful. All right, my friends. So here we are with some more updates to you. And we'll see you soon. And the other thing I have been studying for a few years is for us to don't have any more different religions in all countries. Have just one, the religion of peace and love, that in a few words we are going to have one religion, the religion of peace and love. Have meetings outside, under the tree, for all countries the same, you know, right there at our own residential communities. You know, the elders can sit in chairs, the younger adults can sit on the floor, the children, the parents can sit on the floor or in chairs, you know, and talk about peace, talk about love. 
and be right there with each other, our own neighbors. You know, we don't have to go far away. You know, some people drive long time to go to the church. They like some people even move to another city. You know, we don't need those things. And everyone will be married, married with proper children, teens, and they, the 10 department directors, are going to lead these meetings, small groups here and there at the same residential community. Great idea? All right, my friends. So let's work united. Let's be united. You know, let's plant gardens united. Let's talk about peace and love for these meetings on Sunday morning, and those that want can attend the Sunday afternoon meetings. Great idea? All right, so let's do it. You know, one religion for all countries that, you know, then we don't have to fight anymore, right? Because it's going to be part of the same thing, the same principle, the same practice, right there at our garden, and be friends, accept, be kind, be respectful, be polite with everyone. The other big change is about the animals of our planet. Many animals look at walruses as seals. You know, they can't even walk properly. So the objective is for us to have a life renovation program for all animals, all mammals and other animals of our planet Earth. And we're going to do it with kindness, with respect. We're going to pray for them, and then we're going to let them go. And those that have more evolution, they're going to be born as human beings, right? And those other ones going to be part of nature, you know? So it's a natural movement, but we have to let them go. We cannot spend millions of dollars for animals that are being part of the extension extinction list, right? They, they're being extinct. Some of them, most of them, naturally, because nature don't have a job for them anymore, and people are still giving money and reproducing them and selling them, right? How many birds we sell for thousands of dollars? People go to the rainforests, Amazon, other places, and sell those birds for thousands of dollars to keep them trapped in jails. My friends, let's release our animals. The animals belong to nature, and it's time to release them all. Let them free, like we can be free, with good and positive practices. No more zoos anywhere. No more amusement park, theme parks with animals trapped, whales trapped, dolphins trapped. We can't have those seals, walruses. Some of them even have penguins, right? And little sea lions, my friends, we have to let them go. We cannot keep nature animals trapped anywhere anymore. Not in theme parks, not in safaris, you know. Even places that they say they're getting this and that animal to help them because they broke a wing, they broke this, they, you know, even, even turtles, sea turtles, they have ships. They all of them have ships from one country. They have ships from another country trying to trap them and learn where they go and figure out. They suffer with all those things. My friends, we have to let them go. With good prayers and kindness, we have to let them go. And I have also videos about that. And instead of spending millions of dollars on cars and mansions, in, in, in trips, you know, in spaceships, and in so useless things, my friends. Let's think about humans. There are millions of human beings without clothes, without shoes, without birth certificates. Yeah, go see. We have millions of refugees, millions and other millions of people in orphanages, in nursing homes, in jails. So this program, in a few words, 
this program is for us to improve all these things that I'm talking about here. We have videos for everything. So we will share the refugees, send them to different countries, different and, and welcome them with love and have houses for them. They're going also to help for us to, to cover all these deserts of all continents. We're going to give them birth certificate. We're going to give them citizenship. So, but I need your friends. We need you, my friends, to help us with this work, you know, to help each other. Different uh, people, different, uh, with different cultures, with different beliefs, with different um, practices, with different thoughts but for us to inspire them, touch their heart, and help them, help each other with everything we can. That's what we're going to do. The other thing I want to say, it's about the gift. All of us have a gift. We have a gift in our heart. We have a gift in our spirit. Some people have apartments we can share with others. Some people have farms and food us to start and help them. Some people have airplanes that can pick those refugees up and bring to those different countries, right? Some people, they are very communicative and they can inspire more volunteers to help us. They can touch people's heart and say, yes, let's do this. Let's plant billions of trees to cover our deserts. That's what we need. Yes, let's do it. Let's end refugee camps, right? Let's end slums from all countries, from all continents. No more. No more refugees. And we stop that. Don't receive one more person there. You see? No more refugees. No more refugee camps, right? No more orphanages and no more new kids or teens at these orphanages. You close down at your city and don't open anymore. You see? No more elders going to live by themselves in assisting living, right? And we don't receive them anymore. Hospice, assisting living, all these places, no more. And we don't receive more clients for this place. We close them down. Places that are more reasonable, they have apartments. They can remodel and receive their family to live with them. If this warm location, right, that we talk about is the most sustainable for us to live. After the organization launching day, that's the point. In six months from that day, no more jail. We already have a program to start talking to them and uh, plant food. And they're going to dance. They're going to sing. They are going to prepare also beautiful festivals to present to their families. Their families present to them. And those that are trusted, they're going to start going home once a week. Then they will start going home twice a week. And in six months, there's no more jail. Those in anywhere, any country that wants to collaborate, wants to be part of this big transition in all countries, they will do the practice and start, right, changing things. Those that do not want, my friend, I'm very sorry to say, but far as I know, the only solution for them will be electric chairs, you know, because we don't want people anymore in any country hurting others, hurting others, producing bad things and drugs and, and manipulating things in a bad way, manipulating people in a bad way. We can't have people that do not want to collaborate for a bad humanity or people that do not want to collaborate for a better planet, right? For a better planet itself as well, right? And we are going to share people that are not living in good places for different countries. They can go to different countries. So people live in cold areas such as very north of Canada, 
you know, Russia, very south of Argentina, you know, and other places as well. Iceland, Greenland, okay, Norway, Denmark, you know, Europe, all these countries are too cold and we cannot produce food anymore. So we are going to live in one straight zone in the center of the planet closer to the equator. It's going to be tropical and subtropical countries. That's what we're going to call. Okay? Very good. So, all these families that live on these icy cold places and also natives from forests because they're also hungry there, they're also cold during the winter, you know, they're also eating always the same thing. So we have to renew with them as well. Even that they are the most sustainable people, but they're not the most positive people in our planet. So they also gonna be working with us, you know, on these cities that gonna be right there by the beach areas. All right. Okay, my friends, so let's work united every week, please. In a few minutes, you can do this. You're going to take a few times, you know, some hours to prepare these 10 sentences and 10 links. It's not a huge letter. You can just say, hi, my friends, how are you doing? A basic, simple paragraph, just four sentences or so. Introduce yourself, say who you are, you know. And then I work for the Peace and Love Organization. I'm a new volunteer. Just to start doing this work. You know, you can say something like that. Done. Four or five sentences, no more. And then you're going to put here the basic information about organization. Then you're going to write five sentences with a link soon after related to it. And you're done. And on that Friday, remember on that Friday, you're going to write to what you need the most in your own county, your own state, your own country. And what are those things? These things that I just talked about. The churches, the jail, the assisting living, hospice, orphanages, juveniles, and also places that sell drugs of any type. Tobacco, nicotine, marijuana alcoholic drinks, pharmaceutical synthetic medication, because many people are addicted to those, even for headaches. Instead of, you know, just eating healthy, working out, drinking water, they take pharmaceutical medicine that hurt their livers. We have to close down all those pharmacies and start to have forbidden for vaccines of any type anywhere because some labs, they went way too far and they hurt more than they help. If you really evaluate, they hurt more than they help. Countries that have too much, too many mosquitoes that transmit viruses, we need these herbs planted there. That's what we need. We don't need vaccines for any of those problems. And also, we don't need vaccines for lungs, we don't need vaccines for COVID, we don't need vaccines for, for influenza, we don't need vaccines for anything, not even for polio. It's true, not even for polio. Because if you see people that do not take vaccines, they're much healthier. Their liver is clean, they don't have mercury on their body, you know, so they're much healthier. They're, they're healthy people in communities, in places that do not take vaccines. If you see, what people need is sun. We need fresh air, my friends. That's what we need. We need to be outside. We need to, to have fun and play outside with our children, teens, right? And everyone will be happy. Nobody going to live alone in this planet. Nobody. People are going to marry and start a new family when they are 22 years old. And then, after two or four years, they're going to have their own children, right? That is beef, is the movement of life. We need married, happy couples. And that's how it's going to be. We need to make love. People stop making love. They're so busy and money and this, and many times they don't even have a spouse of the opposite sex, you know, 
We need to be happy, as I said. We need to eat organic food from our own gardens and walk barefoot and, and take rain sometimes, you know, and play in the rain and, of course, play at the beaches, right? But we need this adjustment ears for all this to happen. Right now, we're going to use tennis shoes. We're going to be 100% smart with planning everything really well and 100% safe. Wearing boots, rubber boots, tall rubber boots in places that need, you know, against snakes or scorpions because some countries have a lot of trash and things that nobody touched them, right? And in other, for other things, we can use tennis shoes, right? We're going to run and, or jog every day. You know, elders going to walk fast every day, take sun and sweat. That's how we're going to renew life. And for sure, we will be healthy. Everyone going to be healthy. So the other places that we have to close down, those places that sell drugs, is also every clinic and every hospital. My friends, we don't need that. Because many people in different countries, they, they, they don't want to improve their own practices. They, they go to the doctor, the doctor says, you have cancer. You know what they do? They get home, they're still eating unhealthy, they don't take sun, they don't take fresh air, they still stress, they still think about money, they still think that doctors going to fix themselves. But in reality, they just have to change their practices eat colorful salads from their own gardens, organic, they're going to have clean livers, stress-free, every property, every school, every store that sells clothes, shoes, things like that, going to have 10 owners, 10 couples, I mean, 10 department directors. So, married couples directed that have their own children, two children. My friends, they're going to live happy. I'm sure we are going to have a bad humanity this way. So they're married. So stand the department directors, married couples, going to be the 20 owners of each property, each school, each store, each restaurant, each residential community. They're going to be the new owners, those 10 couples. And their parents going to work with them, going to help them. Gonna be right there, not far away, in other states, other countries, other cities, don't even see each other, don't talk to each other. So there won't be depression, right? So they're gonna be stress free. And I'm gonna stop this and call the other country. Oh, let me say hi to mom. Or some people don't even talk to their parents, they don't talk to their children. Everybody have their own life, live alone, they're depressed. And they start taking medication for this medication for that. Even to sleep, they take medication. To, to inflammation, they take medication for diabetes, cholesterol, and other things. Right? They take chemotherapy for cancer. But they do not guide, you know, those doctors do not guide their patients to take garlic, turmeric, improve their lives, as we are saying here. So I have a video. It's a very short video, about four minutes. 10 basic things for us to be healthy, you know? And we drink water, not soda. We drink water and not beer or wine or any of those things. We eat regular food, you know, real food from our lands, our sacred lands, from nature, from God. But not this processed food for all these um, uh, fast food stores. So on that Friday, send your emails to fast food. Say, please, have a look. You are not going to be aggressive. That's not our bad objective. Or being oppressed them, you know. And you do this because I say so. I'm this or that person. No. You're going to inspire them. Say, please, change your fast food restaurant for a regular restaurant. And, and start having a garden right there. You know, as soon as they start a garden and they use simple things that grow fast, green onions, you know, and celery and kale, right? Very simple things. Um, um, collard greens, right? And 
raspberry hibiscus or spinach, simple things like that, and then they don't sell those processed food anymore, right? The other thing, the other people that you can write on Fridays is those farmers, animal farmers, keep them trapped, you know, for years after years. Those mother cows, you know, they get birth. And then they're trapped again for one, two years. And then they get birth to another calf. And they get trapped and milk and milk. And they give chemicals to them. They give hormones to them for them to produce more milk. And then they more, they do it again. They inseminate them artificially again and again and again and again. You know, for humans to drink the milk that actually is bad for them. Milk has casein, it's bad for the bones. And milk, you see, uh, give mucus. You know, everyone, you see those children? I'm a teacher. Since I'm 15 years old, I'm a teacher. So if you see children that uh, have milk, they often they're sick. They're sick all the time. Their nose are running. You have to see, it's true. So we don't need that milk. Let's release those animals. Let's let them free. And the calves, if it, 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 we don't even know which one is worse. The calves, they trap them in little houses, right? So they can go out and in, but they're trapped. They have chain on their legs or their uh, necks, so they won't run. They won't play. They, they can't go in the field, so they won't create muscles, so their meat will be soft for sale and sell for a very high price for other people to get millions of dollars on those animals. My friends, we need to be humans again, and not animals trapping other animals. Because this is not right. And government leaders do nothing. Actually, they do the opposite. They give money to these animal farmers to keep producing, to help them, you know, and produce more and more hormones for them to produce. And antibiotics. Because do you think these animals, they survive without antibiotics? Those milk cows, they're trapped. They never even take sun, so they won't get disease. You know, they're right there. It's more convenient. They wash their, you know, everything is mechanical. Even some factories, they round them up. You know, they're scramming, they're poop, you know, already have a place to go. You know, some of them is using flames because they're cheaper to disinfect their utter, you know, for the milk to be extracted. It's crazy. It's true, it's crazy. And I'm not even saying more words. How much forest it's put down in Amazon and other places for us, for people to create cattle. For meat, for, 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 in general, for meat, my friends, we have to be humans again. And better than any other past culture, any other past civilization, any other past century, any other past millennium. Because from now on, we have to build. And we have this chance in our hands. It's up to us. For those that will agree to have the peace and love organization, you know, because that's the only option we have for our entire planet, as a planet itself, to, to survive, you know, to be better, and also for a bad humanity, where we will be kind and happy when we see others, where we will hold hands and love to have people, you know, with different color, with different heights, right? And combine along the centuries to have a good, strong skin. Why? Because those, you, you see, those that with the best genetics are those with the blended skin. Are not those that are pure white with, with blue or green eyes because they need, for them to have better genetics, they have to work hard, they have to work out a lot, they have to eat really healthy, they need vitamins, you know? And those that have too black of skin, 
you know, most of the time they lack of vit they lack of vitamin D. So what's the best for us to blend, blend all the races? So gonna be only four major races in our planet. That's it, you know, from very white to very black. That's it. We have the Latins and the Maroons done and won't be according to their parents. You know, that's another thing. We're not going to write this people is this, this people is that and this. You know, if you look online, they have so many different races and different ethnicities. So we're not going even to say the word ethnicity. It's just four races and it will be according of their skin color that they look the, the most. Done, very easy. A little bit of their, their other um, races, like the, you know, their, their hair or their eyes a little bit, done. Everyone, they look themselves and that's what they're gonna fill up. All this paperwork, you know, that's it. Four races and no more, no less, done. Okay, and the other thing is how we are going to get, you know, all this going. Who gonna deserve to be the ten department directors? Those that are the best according to their previous practice as well. So they need to know English. English, why English? Because it's the language we already know the most in most countries. In January, if you get the total of almost eight billion people from our planet that's the language that is spoken the most so decide it easy it's an easy language easy to learn it's much easier than portuguese and and other uh, other languages you know and spanish is easy too but english is really easy even easier than spanish if you you know consider so we are ready you know different people from different countries know it the best let's have english done so now let's say a few words about previous points so since we are born right our parents have practices with us or even before that as our mothers were pregnant so we're gonna count everything and account points your pregnancy was happy did you have a a good peaceful environment, a good peaceful house, right? Okay, did you have time to breastfeed? Did you breastfeed? Did you use um, reusable diapers or you use um, disposable diapers? Did you breastfeed or you use formula? So for everything since the person, be, the mother became pregnant, that will count. And also until yesterday, you know, that for us gonna be considered a day before of the the, the person, you know, uh, doing that paperwork. A day or a day before the organization launching day. So we have a limit right there to do the previous points. So some people, they are great. They, ha they are very successful with their business. They have good salaries or their own business. But they don't have a family, they don't have friends, they work, 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 they don't have vacation, right? So this is not good as well. They don't have children to bring the laugh, the joy, right? And some people do. So they will have more points for everything will be like that. Okay, so you have, you're married. That's the first thing. You're officially married. Okay, you get points. You have children or teens, your own. Yes, you get points. You have your food gardens, yes, you get points. Your children at school and not homeschool, doing whichever they want, because many homeschool, and most of them, or probably all of them, are not good. They are with adults all the time. They don't have time to share, to play with other kids of their age. Some parents even bring them to a class here, a fun day there, but it's not a daily thing, it's not sustainable. They are in a car, go with a group. They are in a car, go to another group. That's what rich families, they do, you know, some of them. Or they keep them home and do, it, don't, only, don't, do not even bring them out to have fun. 
We need our children teams at schools, positive schools, not those schools that keep the kids inside all the time. You learn, you learn, you learn, you learn. We need to be better than this other school. Oh, our five years old are reading. Oh, our four years old are reading. Oh, our five and six years old are writing. No, we have to stop this competition. Our children, our children, they need to play and start learning slowly, right? Literacy at the first grade, a little few games when they're four or five years old. Those are games, but they're really going to start learning at the first grade. They are children, you know? Oh, my children know about this, my children know about that, and they play video games, and they do this, and they do... No! That is not right. Their children should play outside. They should be climbing trees. They should be barefoot and roll in the grass and water the plants and see the, the food growing. And say, Mom, look, we got bees. Mom, look, we got butterflies. Mom, look, more flowers on this plant. You know, I have more food. And, and the bees, happy bees, harmonious, happy bees right there. European bees, right? Right there, and butterflies, local butterflies. But for sure, we are not going to keep butterflies in butterflies, enclosures, like Butterfly Planet, Butterfly, um, all these places that keep them trapped, you know, keep them trapped. And when it's cold, you know, they put some heaters or bring them inside. My friends, please, we can have butterflies at our own gardens. People still drive hours to go to those butterfly theme places, right? Butterfly places. They drive hours to go or even go to other countries to see a Disney park. We don't need those things. We can have fun at our own local water parks, at our own beaches, right? My friends, so we have to improve the way we think for a better humanity. And that is the Peace and Love Organization. A few words, you know, we have more than 500 videos already posted, you know, and we have a lot already written and organized. But for us to have a better humanity and a better planet, so we count on your cooperation. We count on you to help us and share those things. Okay? So when you write into them, so here's an improvement. You write into people from Monday to Friday, if you have 20 minutes or if you have the whole day, you know, to help us, to inspire people. So you're not going to say volunteer because you, you're not trained. You didn't pass the test. But you can say I'm a citizen of this county, I'm citizen of this state, and then you write to people, okay? You write to family, friends, uh, co-workers, neighbors, and to those local business owners of all types, business, right? And to government leaders, as I said, make a plan, and every day at that same time, you're going to sit down and send your emails. And as the days are passing, you're going to have more emails until they write you back. Yes, we got that fast food. Now we are restaurant and we already implement the food garden. Then you don't have to write to them anymore. Okay? So, yes, I'm a school principal and we already start our food gardens. And our students are already talking about the 10 departments of the Peace and Love Organization. And we're already typing and talking about. And then you don't have to write to them anymore. You see? That's how it's going to work for us to, to be even better. And if it's needed, you know, after two weeks, four weeks, if people, you know, cancel, block your email, what you do? Open a new email and keep writing. Because our organization launching day will be in August, on August 24th. So we have plenty of time. We have the entire June and July to work, to improve, to do festivals, to sing, to practice different choreographies, to, to inspire other people. And it's going to be really beautiful. All right. So here's Guiana Ferreira from Florida. And soon you're going to meet... 
you know, my, my, my sons, I have two sons, and you're going to meet my husband, and going to be really special. So, let's get ready for our organization launching day, okay? So, keep doing the best you can, join, volunteer at a local school that can receive you, and let's plant gardens, let's talk to other people and make this, this beautiful new moment for our humanity. We really appreciate your cooperation and we we'll see you soon.